The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good day, everyone, and welcome to Weekly Trading Recap. As always, each Monday and Wednesday, Nana is with you, and here we will see uh, our potential new setups, new trading ideas, and I hope that we will have a very, very successful trading. So before we start, guys, as always, a quick uh, risk disclaimer explaining the CFD and Forex are leveraged products can result in losses that exceed your deposits. And uh, because of that, those are not suitable for everyone. Keep in mind that Forex is a risky activity and you should understand the all risk involved before we proceed further. Have in mind that everything that you see here is my personal opinion on trades. And this presentation and the video is for informational and educational purposes only. Also, to get a corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, you should visit ironmarketsglobal.com, select your country of residence, and contact an appropriate entity. And of course, you can read the full risk disclosure on this web address. Why do we trade with Armor Markets UKLT the excellent index offerings, or sizes, and of course, or execution STP? Uh, you have negative balance protection policy and volatility protection settings. Try to use. It's uh, very good for both novice and experienced traders. And, of course, best platforms, MT4 uh, and 5 Supreme Edition. So you can additionally boost your trading. This is me, and uh, I always say patience is the key to trading success. Rules and setups give price a breathing room. Also, we enter in the zone. It's called the POC. Zone is within 15 pips of the predicted level, of course, if it's in agreement with your system. Scaling it is optional, but you need to know that you do your own trade and money management. For commodities, watch the zone around the level. For equities, also watch the zone around the level. And have in mind that some indices use bigger stop losses. Recommended risk is 0.5 to 2% per trade. A maximum is 5% per all trades. For all trades. Respect your stop loss. Always. Always add the spread to your stop loss. It's very important. No matter if you trade Forex, equities, commodities. Also, we take one position per listed pair. And it's either position or alternative trade, whichever hits first. Alternative trades are counter trend trades. Positional trades are called trend trades. Breakout trades and scalp trade levels can be traded independently of any position. For Forex, it's very important to know that depending on time and volatility, we use profit stop after 20 pips, but not less. That is very important. Also, try to protect your profits. For day trading, Try to secure 20 pips or more if you see fit, but do not take less than 20 pips. Also, if you see that price is not moving in your favor, then you might actually exploit something, uh, let's say, a profit that is less than 20 pips. Also, have in mind that these setups that I show today are valid for tomorrow, today, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. So today, tomorrow, and early Wednesday, because we have live trading session on Wednesday. Setups are valid until early Wednesday. Pay attention to my Twitter updates and have in mind the scalp trade should be done at or very close to important support resistance levels. All those trades are calculated by historical levels and Camarilla. Add these levels to your system. And of course, pay attention to trends so you might find other trend-based entries. And the term pips pool, it is the maximum available number of pips you could have got on my setups. These are results for 16 of April. Euro dollar positional by potential 65 pips. GBP dollar positional, it's either plus 20 or minus 60. Australian dollar positional by 65. Dollar yen positional by 105. Gold alternative sell 150 fractional pips. DEX 30, that was optional trade 150 fractional pips. And 
total pips pool with everything here 475 to 555 excellent pip pool count i hope that it reflected also in your account and also have in mind that the trade of the week is were both dollar yen and dax okay it's important for you to understand also this is what happened euro dollar the vertical line represents the time of our webinar and this is it we had basically a nice uh, you can see here sell trade okay but uh, what happened first was a buy trade that is what happened then gbp dollar we had both positions but as i said either if you took it here then it could have been a profitable trade but you, if you didn't close it there then possibly it was a loss australian dollar the trade of the week, one really of it's let's say that dollar yen was a trade of the week but also australian dollar was so good here is your entry somewhere here and you see what happened the price went violently into your favor dollar yen was also in uptrend and we had both buy and sell position but originally let me show you this was the entry here and the price went up so this was also a very very good setup the trade of the week for the forex and gold we had a sell trade initiated 13.55 and you see how the price dropped it was a big move and the price hit it our way and i like how the price behaved here so gold was a sell and you see you could have made nice profits finally dex 30 that was optional trade Dex 30 was in uptrend. We had a buy trade and a sell trade. Sell trade was initiated exactly at this spot, and the price went down. So you could have made nice profits by shorting it from this spot. So total pip pool account here you can see 475 to 555. That is the maximum available number of pips we could have made on my setups for the previous week. Okay, so let's move on to today's setups. Today, I mean this week setups. Again let me remind you that these setups are valid for today tomorrow and possibly the day after tomorrow until the moon wednesday noon 21.35 is a buy trade sell trade is 23.30 for the euro dollar basically what we see here is a downtrend now I was right when I predicted on Forex Street that uh, Euro dollar will probably move in a downtrend. And we can see that it actually respects uh, the overall trend. And we can see a down move. I will just let me give me a few minutes, a few seconds. And this is the chart. So if the price gets lower we buy if the price gets higher we sell 23.30 and 21.35 so those are basically important levels and you need to pay attention definitely but have in mind that the price on euro dollar is not very very volatile it's mostly like the price is ranging okay and you see this is it 
Uh, that means when I say the price is ranging, watch this, guys. This is the range now. This is bearish on four hour, yes. But look at the range. So I don't, I expect that euro dollar could be bought. Now it's below weekly L3. But if it drops down to weekly L5, monthly L4, that will be a big confluence. And I will make a long trade. For sell trades, it needs to get to weekly H3 because it hasn't been tested. We have a confluence here. EMA 89, monthly camera level. So if it gets there, we are short. Yeah, so the, the, both of these should be high probability trading. Uh, ideas, because as I said, Euro dollar is close to its range. So that is why I'm saying be patient and be careful. Okay. Okay. Now let's move on to next setup. Okay. Yeah. Next one is pound dollar. Pound dollar is in downtrend, so we can sell 41.00, stop 41.40, TP 38.95, then buy at 38.95, stop 38.60, TP 39.50. So 41.00 is sell. GBP dollar. Of course, EMA 89 is going down. The price needs to retrace. Again, weekly H3 hasn't been tested. So, potentially, weekly H3 could be a good trade. I think it can be a good trade. Sell from here. Now, if the price drops, this is the level to watch for. 38.95, weekly L3. If it gets there, I think we can place a nice long trade, in my opinion, really. Okay. So that is clear. Next one. Australian dollar, guys. This is the setup for Australian dollar. And you can see here, 77.10 is a sell. Stop loss, 77.50. TP, 76.05. Then possible alternative sell, 76.05. Stop loss, 75.80. TP, 76.50. So we might go with both sell. And this is alternative buy, guys. So sorry, this is typo, but this is a buy trade. Let me correct it quickly. So Australian dollar alternative buy. Okay. And this is it. This is the chart, Australian dollar. You see how the pair drops heavily. And I think that if it drops a little bit more, we can go for a buy trade. And now it's in the zone, so you really need to be careful I think also that there will be some news regarding Australian dollars, so be careful. If you want to trade, trade with low risk. So this is where we could see a buy potentially. It's in the zone now. And 77.10, again, retest of this level hasn't been completed. So I guess that if the price gets there, we can probably see a retest. I think that there could be a retest indeed. So pay attention to that. Okay.
Next one is, let me show you, dollar yen. Again, if you read my analysis on dollar yen today, I was right regarding dollar yen. It was definitely in a nice, in a very nice uptrend. So I guess that it can, I think it can spike again. So pay attention to it. And uh, see here that we have a potential buy 107.90. Stop loss 107.40, TP 108.90. There is a potential setup for the dollar yen. Also, it will be interesting to see that uh, dollar yen will probably reach the level. So this is counter trend trade, but do not use big risk, especially because dollar yen is a strong uptrend. So do not use big, big risk. Okay. Alternative sell 108.90, stop loss 109.30, TP 108.20. This is how the chart looks like. And you can see it's very close to weekly H5. And this is the final resistance. So I guess that it could be a good to sell there. It looks like a potential good sell. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Let me just give me a few seconds, guys, and we move on to next. Okay, so okay, so next one. Let me show you quickly. Okay, is as always, gold. Last week we had a great setup on gold, and now we can, I think, have another good setup. Potential buy 1341. You can see here, stop loss is sorry 1336. Guys, I will actually this is sell. Yeah, yeah, this is sell. Let me just quickly, quickly. Uh, Correct it. So gold is sell thirteen forty one and alternative buy thirteen fifteen. Okay, this is it. So this is the setup. For gold, so sell 1341, stop loss 1346, TP is 1315, and potential buy 1315, stop loss 1305, TP 1340. So this is what we could see probably. So watch for it, guys. I think there is a potential for a price to make this move indeed okay uh next one this is let me just show you the chart gold you see this is gold and if it gets here again retest test of weekly h3 we could see a nice drop from this level or if it gets here weekly l5 i think it will be good for a buy trade so watch for that guys okay so that would be for this week. If you have any questions, guys, you can ask me.
Gulen is asking thoughts about GBPN. I already did a GBPN analysis today. You can see my Twitter and you will see my analysis. I think, as I already explained in uh, my article, this is long on dips. So for me, euro yen, uh, pound yen is long on dips. That is what I see here. Long by the dip, basically. So already going up from this level, as I explained in my analysis, I was right about pound yen. And you see the price is going up. Similarly with euro yen, pound yen and euro yen usually move in correlation. I already have a long trade on euro yen here. And yeah, I mean, everything is aligned. So I think pound yen is definitely a buy, even if the price drops. Also, pay attention, if we see a four hour close above this level, weekly H3, the price should go up. So pay attention to potential four hour close above weekly H3. It is important because if the price closes here, I think we might see another long setup. Kelvin is asking, can I show uh, setups? Yes. Just give me a few minutes to reply, then I will show them. Uh, okay, uh, a lot of questions. WTI. This is WTI. Bullish. Definitely this is W. So make a trend line here. Dip here is bought. Close above weekly H3 as always. We'll spare additional momentum to the upside. So go along from here, close above this level, price will go up. Uh, Euro GBP. Yeah, potential short indeed around this zone, but continuation is possible only if this trend line breaks to the downside. So yeah, we might see a drop, but only if this closes below the trend line, then it should go down. Other than that, it's still rangy. DAX. Bullish, again, as predicted, for one hour is showing signs of retracement. But here you can see it clearly, it went down then. Again, now it is rejecting the support. Let me just check something. Okay, these levels should be. Yeah, it, it, it could go here and then watch for potential short. Buying the dip is possible here in this zone. Dollar CAD. Yeah, the price is going above weekly H3. Bullish. I would wait for 28.94 for potential sell. Yeah, I think this could be a level to sell. Twenty-eight ninety-five. Now the price is going up. So yes, guys. Dollar cat is a sell, but higher. Not now. I personally never never want to sell if the price is moving, as it is now, above weekly H three. So. Only if it gets close to weekly H, H4. And also, guys, this is monthly Camarilla. I think this could be a good sell. I will sell it here. 
blind trade, naked trade, door cat. A lot of sellers, monthly Camarilla, weekly H4. It is bullish trend, but this is counter trend, trend trade. Stops for this should be placed above this high. But try to secure some pips. Yes, Gullet, the trend is bullish, but this is strong. Monthly Camarilla, weekly H4. At least if it happens, I can make a scalp trade. For me, this is potential scalp trading opportunity. Also, if you take a look at bigger picture, this is high, this is low, this is now probably lower high. So if it gets there, sell and then it should drop, at least giving you some pips, in my opinion. So yeah, it is bullish, but the overall picture is bearish. Okay, guys, uh, we still have time to see you, you, Australian dollar New Zealand. Bullish trend, ascending scallop in progress. I would go along here in the zone and then. Continuation is if the price breaks the trend line, closes above weekly H3, it should go up. So Australian dollar New Zealand is bullish. This is the zone for bulls, breakout above this level targets higher levels, close above weekly H3, should target weekly H4, monthly H4 and weekly H5. So here I would go long on dip. Okay. Yeah, I answered most of your questions, almost all. So if you have any other, if you have any other pair for me to quickly analyze, it's good. If not, let's see. I think that we can make this week also very profitable. Okay, so I don't see any questions. Now I will roll the slides. Uh, Kalen is asking, where did you enter dollar yen? Dollar yen, I already closed today. I traded dollar yen today and I made 40 pips. I opened 107.85. I scaled out 107.20 and closed all 107.40. 108, sorry, 40. But I actually traded euro yen and I'm still in a trade. Okay, this is my trade and. You see, buy position here. See, 132.45 was my level. Uh, New Zealand dollar, Justin is asking. I particularly don't trade that much because it's very slow pair. It is extremely slow it only moves during tokyo something and early early morning uh, london so bearish trend every time frame is bearish retracement let's see yeah it should retrace i would go for one hour retracement i would sell new zealand dollar at 70 to 18 somewhere here i would go for a new zealand dollar sell It's very clear, EMA 89. So this could be also level here and down. So I guess we covered most of uh, the subject and trading setups ideas. Uh, I hope that this week will be also fruitful as it was for the last week. I wish you guys excellent trading. And yes, the slides, that is what I need to show you. This is slides. Uh, Eric, can you later read my email? I send it to you and Chris, sure. I hope that we will see it. Yeah, I mean, whatever is not clear, no problem. 
Of course, can you resend email, Eric, please? Please resend the email. Uh, yeah. Let me just write it down. Okay. Uh, pound dollar? Australian dollar? Dollar yen? Gold? And the last question for today. Uh, okay, thanks from Pakistan. Greetings, of course. And Derek is asking, is silver now a buying opportunity? Let me just quickly check the charts, guys. Just give me a few seconds. Okay, I don't have it here, but I will actually. Silver. I think you should wait for a reversal pattern here in this zone. Here, 1656, 1667. Reversal zone. And yes, I think, Derek, this could be a good buying opportunity indeed. Yes, yes, definitely. Good buying opportunity. So, guys, thank you. Let's see what we will make from these setups. I hope that we will make new pips again. I wish you, as always, safe trading and talk to you soon. See you guys. Cheers and bye for now. Thank you, Rolf. Thank you, everyone. Talk to you soon.